Cobra. I cannot always be there to save your ass. Well, Rana, so, here's the thing. Yeah. Just as I told you, you need to just say, if you want trouble, I too will make a sound indicating that I'm in great danger. As of this, however, I got four bodyguards and the ability to launch soul-searing missiles around. Alright. Just let me look through my gems right now. I shall be there in a moment. But, no, it won't... <laughs> what do I need with a helmet that only gives six in defense? Good question. Oh, hold on. I certainly can't answer you. <laughs> it has been so long. That is one Terran who will not be traveling this oasis anymore. Do I see something down here? Oh, yeah. There's one of those blood horns. It's not blood horn to me. And do. Wait a second. Blood Horse is also the name of Blood Elven Mounts. Oh, clever Blizzard. I'm not that dumb, actually. I often remember that being Bloodhawks in fighting fantasy. It really doesn't prove that much. Oh, I see. Bob, smash that thing, please. You know, Bob is a very somewhat good name for this thing, but you know what would be very hilarious to actually call him? Oh, uh, yeah, remind me never to blow up the lantern oil. Yeah, in any case, you say you have a better name for him than I? How about Deeds? You know, like you can call a butler. I don't know, Bob fits a bit better. But honestly, look at him, it is, there's somewhat of this whole, you know, white and black to it, almost like the suit that you see a bottle walking around it. You know what? I'll call Bob Mac Mark II for Jeeves then. Ah, I see. But right now he's just Bob. Hmm. Now where I are these ruins? I be Bob, I protect Master, I smash stuff. Pretty bad. You want to miss the Lordy? Stop screaming! Well, it seems to be working for them, if nothing else. Okay, if you want a middle screen, here's the middle screen. Hi! Hi! I could have done that better. <laughs> you tell me! Oh, okay. I think I found the ruins. By the way, before we enter it, honest to God, Cobra, I want to hear your best imitation of a true, pure blood, heavy metal screen, or screen, if you will. Why? Because I want to hear how good you make such a sound. Okay, um... <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, it sounded like your throat were passing cuts. Well, I'm not used to it. I don't do that kind of stuff, it's so... It's okay, it is okay. I mean, you'd be like asking me to dance ballet, you would also get something that looked absolutely ridiculous. And, well, yeah, because not only have I never done it before, it doesn't interest me. And we got some wild swarms here. Seriously, Cobra, I am trying my... I am trying as hard as I can not to flip out laughing. We'll just do it, it was ridiculous. I had no illusions that it would be anything but. <laughs> it's sort of you dancing the ballet. It somehow does not really work in my mind. <laughs> There's a reason for that, trust me. <laughs> but then again, I cannot dance either. Oh, what have we here? Uh, I don't know, it's not a witch doctor. No idea, it is suddenly invisible to me. And I am a maid, so that says something. What are you doing? Oh, you are identifying. Whoa, glowing dagger. No, I'm not having it on you. On the other hand, it offers so much extra. Hmm. On the other hand, I have a socket in this thing I hadn't noticed. Daibo. A weapon for monks. Oh! Sorry. Yeah, this is in fact better. 
But also to confess, I cannot dance either. I just have a good sense of rhythm. We'll take your word for it. And despite what you have told me in the past, Cobra, I can tell you 100% clearly that I can actually sing. Okay, we got some constructs that are chilling around over here. And I also looted the corpse of a dead iron wolf. So yeah, these skeleton constructs also know magic. That would explain why people would go to the trouble of making them. Hmm. I see. Oh wait. There's a dead villager with a thick chain meal here. <laughs> to be honest, Bob sounds a bit funny. Yeah. Bob's a very funny guy. Hopefully he is also a strong guy. That there can be no doubt about. Hey! Freeze well! Okay. Oh. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. By the way, did you notice we're not even going where we're supposed to go? This is an optional dungeon. No. Well, I just, just thought I wouldn't it. tell it to you. I'm just following you and watching your spread carnage. Well, true. I mean, we might find something good down here. I'm just... Like that kite seal that just popped out of that chest. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, watch out, there's eels in the water and they're not mine. Oh, I can take care of it. And there's a chest. Thank you. And more kite shields. Dead villager. Nothing. You know, do you think the Lords of Hell are actually just watching as we basically march through their minions? Yeah, I at least believe they're somewhat informed about it, and I don't think they're happy. It's just a theory, of course. Yeah. But I, I don't believe they're happy about it. If nothing else, they probably heard how we slaughter their soldiers, their loyal new captains, stuff like that. By the way, have you noticed that when it comes to evil masterminds, you know, like infernal demons, every time that you hear about that glorious plan, you end up standing right in front of them, it is always, I always anticipated this, my masterful plan had you defeated. Yeah. Uh, but why are you standing in front of me right now? Yeah, Arthas did something similar. I think they're just boasting, trying to keep, you know, face up like, um, No, you didn't totally kick my ass over this long campaign and ruin every single one of my p plan. No, you, you see, this, um, this has all been part of my plan from the beginning. Yes! Yes! You know, yes. I need, to be honest here, I need to make a reference, but uh, the rim from the series called Chronicles of the Unknown Quest actually also made the whole thing about your pitiful mind could not grasp in uh, the scope of my plan. Yeah, We'll be waiting. Yeah. Something like that. So maybe these megalomaniacs are not always that qualified. No, no, they're just trying to sound big. I mean, if you don't put any thing concrete about it, just saying it's a grand plan, wide in scope, you're not really... It's kind of like a, they're politicians, you know? Saying things that sounds good, but they're not really committing to anything, because they're afraid of, of losing face. It all depends on the motivation of the villain. For example, the Major of Helsing. He is not really motivated by anything other than he loves war. He wants to see war in everything, and that is why he basically throws his minions out to die. You know idea what you're talking I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I know what I am talking about, but the short version is he wants to rage war and rage conflict all over the world. And that is why he does what he does. He is... I need to be honest, I think he is actually a pony for war. What an interesting, deeply motivated villain. I can sure see why people would like something like that. Yeah, but it is somewhat simple and yeah, it is also... Not making any sense. I heard better motivations from all stories where there was this guy who believed in warfare, 
can't remember his name right now, but he believed that civilization was cleansed in the crucible of war. The weakest elements of society were removed and burnt out in the purity of war. And thus he wanted to perpetuate war because he believed that that's where the hierarchy of nations were established and all the weak and unworthy were extinguished. There's nothing so called unworthy in my book at least. The only way you can prove yourself unworthy is if you completely turn out to be a douchebag and asshole. There's no way to be unworthy in my book. You can, however, be unworthy if you do this and this and this. Uh, what? Okay, that deserves a better explanation. And yeah, I, I mean, I, you'll probably... you probably have a good idea of what you meant from the way you said it. Yeah, I need to clarify in a moment. I just need to make sure that we are not in a risk of being deaded. Well, we just went in one big fucking circle. Again! Okay, let's go this way. And that is why I should... Ah, hold on, give me a moment. We're really Imagine. good at this whole circle thing. Well, I just discovered some new pants. Well, good for something. But as I was saying, in my book, so to say, there is not really something from the start that can be called you oh, are yeah. unworthy of something. The only way you can actually turn out to be unworthy if you, well, if you turn out to be one of those kind of people that have to hurt others to make yourself feel better. Uh -huh. That is the only way you actually, well, you would say, prove unworthy. Oh, what have we here? Jackpot. Okay, what kind of jackpot? The good kind. Ah, I see. Hell potions, gold, and something that sounds like it is crawling right behind us. I think that's Bob. Oh, I was about to say something in of the kind of... No treasure without a guardian. Hmm. He's not a sophisticated speaker. Let's just put it like that. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Hmm, okay, f I do not need that quiver. Okay. Right, so now let's try to find out where we're supposed to go. Right behind you. Just need to cast a little magic. Okay, let me have a look. By the way, where did you go? Oh, south. Let's hear some more blood hawks. <laughs> okay, that was actually fucking hilarious. I might actually have something for you over here. It just turned out that all dude just basically flew in an arch over to me. Hmm. Okay, and I have something for you here, I believe. I just need to find it. Nah, uh, it was not this one. But, oh, there is something here. There is something here. The one thing I dropped was not the one. Ah, oh, a white mask. Thank you. No, 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 no. It was not that thing. This is a thing. It is a shrunken head. Well, it's worse than the one I got, but... Hey, thank you. At you least couldn't it know blue. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't know that. You don't have a... Overview of my stats. So in this case, it is the thought that counts. Yeah. In the other case, you weren't really thinking. Yeah. I do not do thinking well. Okay. The bad thing about this is that it's magic. Very. It's very very. That is right. Alright, where's those... Where are those goddamn ruins? My god, we've been almost everywhere. Give me a moment. Well, that's a checkpoint, if nothing else. Give me a moment. I need to check the map. I know you're usually the one to do it, but I think we are on the right track. We need to go down here, and there's a small area we have not investigated. And I think I'm... I know this sounds like a great risk, but what do you mind following me for a chance? Well, the, there's a way over here we haven't investigated, so that's a bit close, so we might as well just check over here first. That's all. Then you will follow me. 
Well, I might as well follow you now because I certainly ain't got energy of where we go, go now. Okay, give me a moment. Well, I do. Uh, we have to go south, obviously, but... Alright. Just let me lead. And I will see if I can get us in the right direction. But we might as well check this one out here. But there's nothing. Or is there? Huh. No. I thought it was just a place where I could find some treasure, but there's nothing. And this is also a dead end. Yep. Hmm. Okay, um... Oh, never mind. And this is also dead end? Wait, what? We might need to investigate a lot more of this area. Wait a moment, let's restore the rotting cellar, the ancient cave. Ah, up there there's unexplored area. Okay, okay, I know where we're going. Well, I don't know All where right. we're going, but I know where we should probably take a look. Alright. Sorry about the funny voice, I was about to sneeze. Seriously, there is no worse feeling than feeling like you're going to sneeze and then you are not going to anyway. Yeah, it's kind of, always kind of disappointing. It's like, you want something and then it didn't come. It's weird, because sneezing actually feels kind of good. Yeah. In my case, maybe it may be some luck. I'm beginning to sneeze like a rhino. Well, I don't know if I would call it lucky, but it's always a weird disappointment almost. Ah, lads. But it's probably because it's automatically a relief for the body to get whatever it is for spelling it out, so it feels good. Yeah. By the way, um, I also need to ask you in a moment about something. About the whole sneeze thing. Roll and curve. that is. But I need to ask you quite a In four moments. Okay, as I was asking you, is it right that it is physically impossible for you to both sneeze and take a well, a whisp at the same time? What? Is it right that it is impossible for a human being to sneeze and take a whistle at the same time? Take a whistle? Okay, I need to speak plainly here. Take a piss. You mean pee? Pee, yeah. Is it physically impossible for a human to sneeze and pee at the same time? You know, that's probably not something I tried to do at the same time ever, so I can't tell you. In any well, case, we got some more orders here. Overwhelm the enemy and seize his companion. There is a witch among them, and another, a girl. Bring them to me along with the Black Soul Stone. They will be searching for the head of Zotun Kul. Scour the oasis for it. Some old sorcery lingers on the skull, and it must be mine. Well, that explains why this place is so filled up with demonic goons. Yeah. <laughs> And the reason I asked you in the first place was that according to George Carlin, you cannot sneeze and take a piss at the same time because your brain sort of goes, it is not possible. I wouldn't know. That's not one of the things I actually studied. Well, I basically... Yeah. So finally. The Forgotten Ruins. 